Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Games TV. Welcome back. In this special episode, I'm doing a face cam. Don't know why you want to see my face, but a bunch of you said, hey, you should have a face cam. So here we are with the face cam. All right, so since the last episode, I did a lot of work on the weekend just for you. Uh, so what we did is while we were there, we made a whole bunch of pickaxes. Uh, these are not all of them. I've, I've stored a few in other places. I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, so from there, I started digging a tunnel from there to here. And then I realized, well, I don't know exactly the coordinates of this spot. Uh, so I did a screen cap or I actually went on to, to, um, what's it called? Function F3 or F3, depending on if you have function F3 all set up and got ready to go. Uh, we, uh, put the coordinates down of the house so I stopped digging from the house to here then I went back up and then ran all the way back here which was really exciting as you guys know and uh, I was gonna check a few things before we go and show you all the work that I did I don't think I need anything else um, we're getting lots of diamonds digging this tunnel and again the, the best thing about putting tracks underground um, and digging tunnels and stuff is that you, in the process of doing that, you find lots of resources. You use a lot of resources too, uh, digging up this stuff with the pickaxe. That's why I wanted efficiency five. So this is the one of the ones I can't repair anymore because it's too expensive. So I've been using this one to do most of the grunt work. All right. So I started digging this way. This is the direction, I believe, in which we are trying to get back. So this is all the work that I have done. I haven't put track down here, but from the other side, uh, from our main base and house and XP spawner, uh, there is a track coming this way. Uh, so I'll show you that possibly by the end of this episode. One of the things I didn't do was start my cell phone. And there it is. Hang on. And I'm back. I don't know how long I've been going already. So let me just do a quick check. Get my stopwatch out. Because I don't want to go too long. Stopwatch. i got lots of battery left. I can click this little button to see how long we've been going. 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Alright. So we'll stop at 17 minutes from here in. Depending unless it gets really boring. Because I'm going to be... This is a, a digging episode. So I'm going to start running. It's, it turns out it's about 4,000, sorry, not 4,000, 2,500 blocks away from here. Uh, so I started making little, like when I got to here, I, I just didn't want to go all the way back to dump stuff. So I'm starting to make little uh, bases that are working for us. We're putting, uh, just in case you didn't notice, I have a silk touch pickaxe. That's where I'm getting all this block from, or it's regular stone. Uh, this is where I'm putting all of my important materials. And this is where I'm putting all my crap materials I don't necessarily need right now. So, uh, and I also realized that I was on the wrong level. So, going up and down level, I'm not sure which axis that is. We're supposed to be on 12. I think I'm on 10 here. So, I went up to 12, and the track will go up that. Uh, track doesn't go on stairs, because as you can see right there by that little outline, it's this square is using up, even though there's nothing there visually, that square is using up something. So, I'm going to turn this corner. And the other thing, too, is... Um, so, this is the, the right way to go, which is this way. But we have to go over, like, 70 blocks, I think it was, to line up with the other tunnel that I've already started digging. Um, and as you can see, I'm gonna, I like my, my uh, track running down the middle of a corridor. And I like my corridors to be three wide. So, uh, again, I'm not going to show you all this digging out stuff because it's, it's pretty long and tedious. One of the things I do to speed it up is I take out this block, then I line up my pick. It's not going to really work here because I put all my torches in there. Oh, well. So, so what I do is I dig out the top row. Just like this. If I don't know what's underneath uh, me, I don't, like keep pushing my W forward the whole time because you could fall into lava. So, and again, because of this is, um, 
then my torches are all in the way. So I'll probably have to do this just for this side. I started putting torches down the middle, but then I realized I have to freaking remove them as I'm putting down my track. So I just put them off to the right here. Uh, somebody in a, a couple episodes ago reminded me that when you go into a cave, always put your torches on your right side. That way you can find your way out by keeping the torches on your left side. Genius! Well, the way to go. So this is what I'm going to be doing when you guys aren't watching. And then I'll come back in and do this. And just march down this side and hopefully not hit any of my torches. So I have to replace them. Again, this is a little bit squirrely because I definitely don't know what's underneath me. So you got to be careful. I got good armor on, so I'm not really scared. I'm not scared. I'm not a scaredy cat. So we're going to hop, skippity, jump, jump. I'll be coming back and, and clean out these resources as well. So to speed things up, to try and connect the tunnels as quickly as I possibly could, I stopped... The reason this is all dug out as much as it is now is because of me going back and forth to dump materials. As I'm coming back, I'll like start taking down blocks. Uh, but this is what I and this is my turn. Whoops, we've got a guest in our house. Let's clean him up. Two, three, nice. So obviously it's a bit too dark here. So, oh, he may have come up from up there too. Let's just light that up a little bit. Found lots of tunnels. I think I found two um, different mine, uh, abandoned mine shafts. So then I started to save time by only digging two up. And, and then on the way back, I would take out the other block. But this is, it's a little bit faster to run when there's three blocks. You can't really run and skip when it's only two blocks high. And every time you bonk your head, oh, I'm, I'm out of food. So we've got to eat first. Ask questions later. Okay, so we're just booking along here. Not sure if you guys know, but I'm not sure if this is video is going out today or tomorrow, but I did the uh, KFC hot chicken review, and that's on my big channel. If you guys check that out, that would be awesome. And on my vlog channel, which is Domic1966, just in case you didn't know out of vlog channel, I'm doing a thing right now where you get to name the vlog. I try to pick different people every day. I can't remember who I've picked and who I haven't. So here's, uh, you know, found water here, which is always fun to try and get around at the beginning because you get flooded out. And as you can see here, I'm just trying to speed up connecting these tunnels by taking down, uh, by only using, taking out two blocks at a time and going forward. So uh, I think we've gotten to... Like back there at the village, it's like 2,500 uh, blocks is one of the axes. And over here is like 100. So here's one of the abandoned mine shafts. Let's keep going. Again, this took me hours and hours. And then this is a pit stop. I'm obviously cooking some stuff up here. Got lots of diamonds. I got gold ore. I found actual... Um, emeralds down here as well so i have one block of emeralds that i'm not going to hit unless i have my fortune three pickaxe on me to get as many emeralds out of it as possible we can also and then we've found we went we've gone through some uh ravines crevasses caves whatever you want to call them and we're getting closer and closer we haven't actually broken ground yet we haven't broken through i mean to the other side once we do that, then I'll be putting down my track so we can get back and forth faster because this is brutal. Here's another abandoned mine shaft. I haven't... Ooh. Nice. So let's just light this up for a second. We're obviously under uh, a, a hill. What's it called? Uh, an extreme hill biome. This track's broken everywhere. I don't get it. I'll take it, though. I don't see any uh, chests to intrigue me. So let's just dig this out so we don't forget, because that's important. We'll use our silk touch. And that way it won't break into emeralds. Uh, and then we'll replace that block. Because that's the way I do it. Back off. 
Okay, we're going to run down here. Of course, there's more stuff there, and this is where we ended up. So like I said, I've been using my this which one which uh, pickaxe, which is the most expensive one to repair. So we're just basically using and abusing. So what I'm doing is doing five blocks up, down, come down here, knock this out, put it, not that, put a torch, grab my pick and count. Oh, we're going to have to uh, replace stuff here. Um, of course, I didn't think I'd be using my, I'll just use that. So we'll take this out of our way. We don't go around, we do not want to go around these kinds of things. Well, I'll just take it right out. And just for the speed, oops. Just do that for now, just to speed things up. Can we not pick that up, dude? Thank you. Okay. We will continue digging. So I usually uh, put on some really good music uh, when I'm doing these long digs. Ben used to say, how can you dig? You dig so a lot. You do dig a lot. It's like, well, just put some music on and, and hack away at it. And if, you can, if you're one of those types of people that can have the TV show on while you're digging, and not necessarily need to pay attention to the TV show, that's a good... Oh, I did it again. Um, let me just hit my function F3. Function F3. So we are now at 17. We'll go like another uh, couple hundred blocks. I can't remember how far this way I came from with the other tunnel, but these tunnels will line up exactly. I'm on the exact path. Uh-oh. Uh, this stuff comes in really handy when you're digging caves like this, when you come across lava pits. Um, what I'm also going to do is, because that was one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take that out, put in a regular block, put my torch in there. I usually would like to take this out because I don't know what I'm going to be doing underneath here someday. There we go. And then fill it back up. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll take these out. There. Aw, so pretty. And this is the extent. This pickaxe has lasted a really long time. And again, efficient. Oh, uh, we're out of torches. Uh oh. So let's do this. Get up to. There we go. Put that back. Put that there. Put that there. Since we don't have any torches, I'll just jack it right up to 64. Um, we're all ready to go. Continue on. So I did manage to get quite a few uh, really good enchanted books. Uh, somebody reminded me I can be trading with um, certain villagers to get enchanted books, which can help. But it's time consuming because they always want something that you possibly don't have on you. So now you got to go look for it. So just standing there making books at the XP farm is... Again, long and tedious as well, but it'd be so nice to be able to pick your enchantment. Say, so, I want this. Okay, it's only going to cost this. Okay, I'm willing to give up that just to have it. Obviously, we've got some tunnel situations going on. One, two, three, four. where our torch is going to go. Um, shovel now. So this is... Ex 
exciting stuff. That's why I put the face cam on so you can watch my expressionless expressions. And I can make weird faces while I'm doing it. Keep you entertained while I put down the wrong block and then put it in the wrong spot. Boy, oh boy. And I'm not sure if you, if everybody on this uh, channel watches my food reviews, but I started putting up um, old videos. Oh, uh, because subscriber, I guess Dame started putting up his raw and uncut, and then my subscribers saw that and wanted me to do the same thing. So I started doing that, but people went a little bit freaky. Little, little angry about me copying Dame, which I didn't. I even emailed him and said, "Is it all right?" And he said, "Nah, it's all right." And I'm like, "Hey, hey, hey! Guess what I'm gonna do then?" Um, so if I fall off, I can get out there. So I'm gonna do, turn around. So I'm holding Shift, holding S, dropping our blocks to make it across this lava pit. And almost going to make it across. Dang nabbit. So let's just get over here. Then we will jack ourselves into the corner. Just because you never know. A skeleton is always present. Uh, let's grab our silk touch pickaxe. And take out a few blocks to replenish the stuff we've been taking. Anyway, so... And then I put up, I'm not sure why people don't read uh, the com, I mean the description or the title of the video. Uh, just inside the video, as the video starts, it, it explains a couple things about uh, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, and the fact that, oh, here's the date of this video. And then people don't read that and say, why do you still have an iPhone 4? It's like, well... Because I shot it two years ago, and then you get the people who are all angry that I'm putting up old footage. But most people, all the really good subscribers, are like, oh, this stuff is so cool. Seeing the old videos and all the editing that you do. So, I appreciate those people who give me that wicked feedback instead of just anger. <laughs> and I know you can't please everybody on YouTube. It's impossible. Oh, see? There's a skelly. Just like I told you guys, there would be a skelly when there's lava around. Because the game's like, well, how can we kill this guy with his wicked armor on? Nothing super important over there. Just double checking. Ooh. Wow. Oh, we got some diamonds. We are going to take this opportunity. We'll take this too. Anyway, that's my little rant for the day. Um, where is it? Oh, it is here. So, um, one of the things I said was gravel can really save your diamonds. By making sure lava doesn't pour into your diamond area while you're trying to dig it out. I always also dig around my diamonds, as most of you guys know. Just to make sure there's no little lava traps. Always be cautious. See, making sure, making sure nothing's going to get broken. And let's just, uh, we'll take it with our pick. At, um, I'm pretty sure that's our silk touch, right? Yeah. So we'll take that ore as is. Nice. Free diamonds. Didn't have to look for them. Love it. There's nothing over there. They put a little staircase for us. Um, 
always get lost. Oh yeah, we went down here. Isn't it? Yep. All right, so our tunnel is going to continue. That was a nice little bonus, eh? So let's get rid of that pickaxe before a skelly shoots me off this. I'm just going to make this a nice even... For now, there we go. I'm gonna eat. Eat by the lava pool. We're at the 17 minutes plus the three that we started. So there is our 30 minute show, uh, or 20 minute show. I can count. So I'm going to uh, continue digging a little bit to save you guys some time, and then uh, we will come back and hopefully join these two tunnels together. And we'll have our rail system from point A to point B. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys love the series. You want me to keep going. And so I do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.